What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here bringing another Rad Movie Review. Today we're going to be talking about Batman The Long Halloween Part 1. It's finally out. I got a chance to check it out. Does it live up to the famous comic series from back in the, in the day? Let's find out. This is going to be a non spoiler review. Roll it. So the Batman Long Halloween Part 1 is actually one of my favorite comic storylines for Batman. So I was a little nervous about this adaptation for the film just to see if they can nail it down for sure. So let's get down to talking about some of the positives of this film. Right off the bat, we have a pretty solid voice cast like Jensen Ackles, Josh Duhamel, and Jack Quaid. There's a lot of good voice casting actors in this film to bring to life all the amazing characters that live in Gotham with Batman and all that kind of stuff. The interactions with the characters are really good too, and our storyline is mainly focused on Batman teaming up with Harvey Dent and Gordon and them really kind of building that trust circle and trying to take down a lot this new killer called the Holiday Killer who is killing people on the holidays like Halloween. Thanksgiving Christmas and all that kind of stuff so they have to kind of solve this case and track him down and they have to work together and we also get more like kind of in-depth storylines between all three so it's kind of focused on Harvey Gordon and Batman you really get to know a lot about all three of their sides and where they're at currently in the storyline we also have an amazing cast of like all the rogue gallery of people showing up in terms of the Batman villains like, you know, Catwoman, Joker, Solomon Grandi. We got a really good, you know, cast of seeing all his villains. It's awesome the way they portray them in the film. And I like the style and the design of Gotham and the characters. It really has a good niche type st style that I really did like and it brought them to life. The colors, all that kind of stuff was a good choice. And like I said, this is a part one, so we know we're going to be getting a part two. So this is a really good one in terms of just like the origin of opening up the world of where we're at currently and following this. This is kind of like a sequel. If you watch Batman Year One and you see that one, this is almost kind of like a sequel to that. You know, that's like Batman in his first year kind of evolving. This one is kind of like, you know, that second or third year of Batman really developing relationships with other people and finding out what it means to really be a detective. All that kind of stuff's in this film. So if you like more about Batman learning and really using his detective knowledge and kind of discovering things, this is going to be the movie for you for sure. So let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this film. And right off the bat, one of the key negatives for me is they did add some stuff to the storyline compared to the comics. Like there's in the comics, there's more just George, Jim Gordon hinting at stuff about Harvey Dent and his relationship with his wife. And in this one, they actually make her a prominent character in the film. And her and Harvey have a lot of scenes together. And I felt like their scenes kind of dragged down the pacing of the film a little bit. And her character, I really didn't like her character that much just because of the writing they did for her character was pretty horrendous. Just the lines, I didn't they weren't believable compared to all the other characters that were in the film. So it kind of, for her and like those scenes with Harvey Dent, it really did drag down the pacing a little bit for me. Also, some of the animation, the animation for the fighting and like the way it looks, coloration and stuff, it looks crisp. But sometimes some of the talking scenes and standing scenes, it's very choppy, very blocky looking. So like some of that kind of stuff did bother me a little bit but those are kind of like really small negatives you know to kind of twist on like they're not really big besides like that storyline one with you know Harvey Dent's wife but besides that they're just like minor negatives that you could overlook or I could overlook watching this film because it's such a great storyline for Bruce Wayne and Batman and watching this film and like I said they got a great voice cast it looks amazing like in terms of colors and the character design and all that stuff and it's really an interesting story that I think most people will be involved in especially if you're a Batman fan so overall in my book batman the long halloween part one is going to get an 8.5 out of 10 this is a very solid watch i definitely recommend checking it out part two i think comes out next month july like 25th or 27th something like that so i'll be eager to check that one out and then i'll bring you guys that review for sure so thanks for sticking around with me y'all leave a comments in the comment section down below tell me what you thought of the film i would love to hear from all of you and thanks for sticking around. Have a safe and happy day. And don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button too. Peace out.